want to show you how to help solve some of the world's science problems by donating your spare computer resources. Uh, you do this by using the Berkeley Open Infrastructure for Network Computing, otherwise known as BOINC. Uh, their website is boinc.berkeley.edu. Uh, and basically how it works is that there's a bunch of different projects that exist uh, that are trying to solve different problems. Uh, there's astronomy, physics, chemistry, uh, mathematics, computing, and games. Uh, there's earth sciences that re relate to climate prediction and biology and medicine that are looking at different proteins for developing uh, medicines for different cancers or HIV and AIDS. So the way you get started with this is by uh, setting up an account. I like to use the Grid Republic account manager. So go to gridrepublic.org, uh, click join, I fill in my name, my email address, and my password, and then click continue. Oops. Click continue. Okay, now this is where I choose the projects I want to help with. Um, so SETI at Home is the search for extraterrestrial intelligence. Uh, Rosetta at Home uh, is looking at the three-dimensional shape of proteins as it relates to AIDS, malaria, cancer, and Alzheimer research. Uh, so, I'll just pick one. I know Milky Way at Home works for this computer, so I'll uh, check this one. Uh, it analyzes the Sloan Sky Survey with the goal of discovering structures in existing in the Milky Way galaxy. Um, so, you can choose as many projects as you'd like, but after you do, select Continue. And now you download the Grid Republic software. Okay, once the Grid Republic software has been downloaded, let's install it. It's a fairly straightforward install. Uh, we get this first message and click next. Accept the license agreement if you do. It's free software released under the GNU Lesser General Public License. Uh, you'll need to install the Boint client which is part of this install. and then the Grid Republic client will start up. Uh, you'll need to enter your email address and your password. It'll communicate with the server and it knows what projects we're attached to. Okay, so when Grid Republic first starts up, uh, it'll run benchmarks on your computer. Uh, benchmark tells the program uh, what type of hardware your computer has uh, so it'll know how fast it can do the work that it's receiving from the servers. If you click this message button uh, you'll see what's going on. Uh, so it gives you information about uh, running the benchmark and tells you what kind of computer you have here and then it's downloading a task and then it's starting the task. And 
Okay, we can see that uh, Milky Way at home is running. Uh, the elapsed time is, you know, 40 something seconds, and the estimated time for completing this task is over two hours. Now, if we open up Task Manager, we can see that this program is completely pegging out our CPU. Uh, so this is probably not what you want to do if you're while you're using your computer. Although you may not notice anything because it's set to run at a low priority. So all of your other processes should have priority over uh, what's running in the background. If you want to change uh, some of your settings, you can go to Preferences. And uh, then you can change to do work only between certain hours. You can change uh, how much processor time you want to give the program. If we change this to 10% uh, and then save, and then we go back to Task Manager, you'll see that it's not using nearly as much of the processor as it was. Uh, but when you do that, you'll see that it's not using as much CPU time as well. So the, this uh, time remaining is an estimate if you're using 100% of your CPU for the project. Uh, when you when I lower it to 10% of the CPU, this time is going to be 10 times as long. So it's it'll take over 20 hours if I'm only using 10% of the CPU. Uh, you can also uncheck do work uh, while on battery. It's probably wise to uncheck this. And you can also uh, choose to only do work after you're idle for a certain amount of time. So it's really customizable uh, from this basic view. If you really want to customize what's going on, you can switch to the advanced view like I just did. Uh, you can see all of your messages, the transfers, and the current the projects that your computer is currently working on. I should say the tasks that your computer is working on and your projects. Uh, but I think for most people, the simple view is going to be enough. And so we can go back to uh, gridcomputing.org. And sign in if we ever want to add a project. Uh, we can do that here and go to add and add another project um, so some things to note while using a program like this is that if your computer runs hot uh, this com this program could possibly cause your computer to overheat um, if you're running this while your computer would have been off or in hibernation mode or in standby, you're going to be using more power. So these are things to consider when running this program. Uh, also, if your computer has a significantly advanced GPU, that's a if it's an NVIDIA chip, it would be a 8 series or newer. You can use your GPU to run the processes that's going to use quite a bit more power than just using a CPU but it'll also compute the uh, the task much faster so if you have any questions uh, stop by gaslampcomputers.com